Hi, today is October 10th, 2023, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 1639 for the year 1 William Street. On the way to work yesterday, I was thunderstruck by the way 1 William Street asserted itself. The surrounding buildings seemed to step aside. Delmonico's, just across the street, seemed like a little pipsqueak, but even the taller buildings seemed to be showing their respect. 1 William Street isn't all like I'm number one, even though it is number 1 William Street. It just stands there, being what it is, while the other buildings are like, Fuck me, one, William. You are like the motherfucking Schubert of buildings. You are like Schubert when he was writing the 13th and 14th string quartets. God fucking damn. And one, William, could be like, I know. I know I am like Schubert, but one William isn't like that. One William just stands there being one William because one William doesn't need to do anything else. Poem number 1640, The Edge. Getting closer and closer and getting right up to the edge and looking down and backing up and inching forward and looking out over the edge again and thinking about jumping and thinking about not jumping and crawling back slowly to where you began. Fuck that up. Just a little. Did you notice? Poem number 1640, The Edge. Getting closer and closer and getting right up to the edge and looking down and backing up and inching forward and looking out over the edge again and thinking about jumping and thinking about not jumping and crawling back slowly to where you began. Poem number 1641, To Have Gone. He thought about going for a long time until it was too late for him to go, and he knew that if he had really wanted to go, the thing to do would have been to have gone rather than to have thought about going. Poem number 1642, The Opposite. Sometimes too much is not enough, and sometimes too much is too much, and sometimes not enough is too much, and sometimes not enough is not enough, and sometimes enough is too much, and sometimes enough is not enough, and sometimes too much is enough, and sometimes not enough is enough, and sometimes enough is enough, and sometimes it's the opposite. And the last poem of the day, poem number 1643, Risk. At the risk of sounding romantic or charming or overly familiar or like a dog or wistful or obsessed or pathetic or cute or cloying or clinging or flirty or funny or silly or sweet or thoughtful or gross or loving or controlling or obnoxious or maybe just me, at the risk of just sounding like me, I wanted you to know that when I woke up this morning, I thought of you. I wanted you to know, but I didn't tell you. I didn't want to risk it. All right, that's it. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yes, I do.